In this video, we'll discuss a case of delayed revascularization of a thrombosed renal artery stent graft following chimney EVAR. Our patient was a 63-year-old male with history of EVAR with bilateral renal snorkels who presented four months after the index procedure with left flank pain for 72 hours prior to admission. Notably, the patient admitted not to be compliant with the dual antiplatelet therapy prescribed at the time of his index procedure. On initial exam, he was in severe pain and tender in the left flank. His kidney function was reduced, and CTA of the abdomen and pelvis demonstrated hypoperfusion of the kidney parenchyma and occlusion of the left renal artery snorkel graft. However, upon further review, we noticed patency of the renal artery distal to the stent, and based on the patient's overall clinical picture, we recommended an attempt at salvaging the kidney with endovascular suction thrombectomy. Here we see an axial view of the preoperative CTA. Evident here is the previously placed aortic stent graft and occluded left renal artery snorkel graft. We also see that the left kidney is hypoperfused compared to the right side. Here is a 3D reconstruction highlighting patency of the natal renal artery distal to the thrombose stent graft. Next, we'll break down the procedure into 10 steps as follows. Open exposure of the left brachial artery catheterization and crossing of the occluded stent, selective angiography of the left renal artery, placement of an embolic protection device, introduction of an 018 buddy wire, infusion of TPA, mechanical suction thrombectomy, deployment of the new stent graft, repeat angiography, and closure. Moving on to the procedure, we positioned the patient supine with the left arm out, Next, we made an incision and exposed the distal brachial artery right above the elbow and gained access with a micropuncture needle and introducer kit. We used an 035 advantage wire to get down the descending thoracic aorta and then upsized to a 7 French tour guide steerable sheath. Next, shown here, we catheterized and crossed the existing 6x50 Viabon snorkel graft using an 035 angled glide cath and a regular angled glide wire. We then performed selective angiography and confirmed patency of the distal renal vasculature, as shown here. Following this, we prepared for suction thrombectomy by placing a 5mm spider FX embolic protection filter. We also introduced an 018 steel core buddy wire into the left renal artery. Once the filter was deployed, we infused 4mg of TPA and performed suction thrombectomy using an Indigo Cat 7 lightning catheter. We then relined the original stent with a 6x59 balloon expandable VBX. In the next shot, we highlight the original snorkel graft and the newly installed VBX inside it. We remove our devices and perform one last angio of the left renal artery with excellent contrast blush in the kidney. Lastly, we shot one picture of the abdominal aorta to confirm the entire repair was still intact. The brachial artery was then repaired primarily with interrupted proline, and the wound was closed in layers. Postoperatively, the patient did well, and was discharged home on post-op day 3, with significant improvement in renal function and complete resolution of his flank pain. He was seen again at 6 months and continued to be pain-free, and a CTA performed at the time demonstrated patency of the grafts. Thank you for watching. This concludes our video on delayed revascularization of a thrombosed renal artery stent.